Today we're gonna to be making a do-it-yourself tallow balm. And a couple areas that we tend to overlook when it comes to our health are the products that we use in our homes and the products that we use on our skin. So the clean beauty and personal care industry has come a very long way in the last five to 10 years. There are a lot more options than there used to be, but there also is a lot more greenwashing than there used to be. And then when you do find a really good quality product, oftentimes they can be very expensive. So I do like to make some of my own personal care products here at home to save money, and then that way I can also control the ingredients. So any of the tallow bombs that I've seen on the market have been in the range of about $60, sometimes even more for a four ounce container, which is really pricey, especially if you're wanting to use this as something like a body butter. So I am easily able to make this at home for under $3 for the same amount. I just source my tallow locally from a farm, um, but you could make this even cheaper if you wanted to render it yourself. If you're not familiar with tallow, it is rendered from suet, typically from beef. And yes, I rub beef fat on my skin on a daily basis. Let me show you how easy this is to put together. The first step is going to be to melt our tallow. I'm doing a really large batch, so I melted down three cups of tallow, but if you wanted to do a standard batch, you would just melt down half a cup. Once the tallow is melted, we're going to add this to our bowl. I'm using a stand mixer today, but you could also use a handheld mixer. And then we're going to add in our oil. My personal preference is olive oil, but if you prefer to use something else, I'll leave some other suggestions in the description box down below. And for this large batch, I'm using three quarters of a cup of olive oil. For a single batch, you would just use two tablespoons. So I've let that fully cool and you can speed up that process by putting the bowl into the fridge or the freezer for just a few minutes. And then I got this mixing on low and gradually increased the speed to high until we had a nice white fluffy tallow bomb. There are tons of ways that you could customize this at this point if you wanted to scent it with essential oils. Just consider how you plan to use it. So you want to be careful with using any sort of essential oils near your eyes. And also oils like citrus oils can be phototoxic, which means if they are exposed to the sun, your skin can potentially have a negative reaction like a rash, redness, that sort of thing. So just keep that in mind if you're planning to use essential oils. As you can see, this is such a simple product that comes together really quickly, and there are a ton of ways that you'd customize this to make it your own. Use a different oil in place of the olive oil. You could scent this with essential oils if you wanted to. It makes for a great gift, or if you do make it for yourself, I am sure that you will love it. So definitely leave me a comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing more of these DIY personal care products. It is something that I do relatively often, and I would be happy to share that with you guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.